Good evening. A Perth tow truck company has been caught up in a bribery scandal after a police worker admitted to taking cash and drugs. Rebecca Tilbury was paid to leak information about car crashes and now the McGowan government is promising new regulations to try to stop the tow truck cowboys. This vision of tow trucks running a red light to get to a crash scene has lifted the lid on a much bigger scandal. It includes standover tactics. Oh, hey guys, jump in the car and lock, close the doors. Yeah. Call the cops. And Nine News can now reveal alleged corruption between elements of the towing industry and a WA police call centre worker. I regret everything. Um, it was probably the biggest mistake of my life. Rebecca Tilbury worked at the Police Operations Centre, had access to confidential information on the police computer system and exploited it for money and drugs over a two-year period. I've completely undermined police, I've breached the trust of the public. Um, yeah, I'm really ashamed of what I did. A police internal affairs investigation found that on 745 occasions, Tilbury provided tip-offs about crashes to a towing company and received just over $16,000 in corrupt payments. There were also kickbacks in the form of so-called half-balls of methylamphetamine. Nine News has learnt that the company implicated in the corruption case is Performance Towing, whose representative Amber Holson spoke yesterday about the industry. I'm an advocate for a, a code of practice or a code of conduct, um, some kind of regulatory body, uh, some kind of regulation within the industry to set minimum standards. There's no suggestion that Ms Halson has done anything wrong, but we can now reveal that Performance Towing's managing director, Leanne Godbolt, has been charged with aiding Tilbury to act corruptly. She resigned today after Nine News telephoned the company. In a statement from a lawyer, both Performance Towing and Ms Godbolt have denied any wrongdoing, saying the payment of spotters' fees are common practice across the towing industry. Regulation is required here, so it's got to stop sitting on its hands and it's got to do something about it. And our investigation into the tow truck industry has prompted the McGowan government to act. Transport Minister Rita Safiotti said the stories about the industry were deeply concerning and that preliminary regulations would soon be introduced. That will include maximum tow and storage fees being provided to drivers, tow trucks will be subject to an annual inspection and must comply with relevant vehicle standards. I always knew what I was doing was wrong. And Gary Adshead is at State Parliament. Gary, what's next? What's next? Well, from the calls that we've had at Nine News in relation to the towing industry, I would say that this story has a ways to run yet, Michael. In the meantime, the government couldn't ignore it and the uh, Transport Minister, Rita Safiotti, has the Department of Transport now drafting new regulations for what has been really an unregulated industry. In the meantime, she's saying that people who have been involved in motor accidents should always seek the advice of their insurer um, before they agree to a towing. Uh, they should always find out what the total costs would be, and that includes the storage costs, and that they should always uh, err on the side of caution in relation to signing a towing authority until they've seen those final costs. That's some advice, but as I said, this story has a way to run. Michael. Certainly does, Gary. Thank you.